Yo, what's good guys? I'm bringing you another solo duo bass build with a kind of a new structure to the video. Let me know in the comments below if you like it or not. So to start the bass off, you're gonna make a triangle with four triangles and then two squares on the side of that with two triangles in the front of that. And the front of that will become our airlock as you can see right here. We're gonna put walls around the outside and you can see where the airlock is right there. And after that, we're going to upgrade it, place our TC in the middle triangle of the triangle made of triangles and upgrade that to high quality. And you can upgrade the side that you see as stone if you want to try to save some metal frags. Otherwise, I recommend upgrading it like this. After that, we're going to add our second story access point, which we're going to use a roof. So we have to put this ceiling down first. Otherwise, we will not be able to place that later once the roof is down. So you got to make sure that you get that tile on the top placed before you put the roof down. And then we're going to add the second floor and upgrade that to sheet metal as well. Make sure you leave the center open because we're going to be using that to drop down into our TC room. Next, we will just be adding some honeycomb and building one of our first loot rooms. You can choose to make this an unlootable loot room if you please. Otherwise, to just save some materials, we're going to just put a double door on here after putting our boxes in here. A little side note that I'm sure most of you are aware of is make sure that you put code locks or key locks on all of your boxes just to make it take longer for raiders to get the loot from your base. And after we finish up this room, we're going to put a double door down and some traps in here and start building our real unlootable loot room on the other side. Also, just to repeat, you can make this an unlootable loot room as well. It will just cost a little bit more metal frags to do so to upgrade this floor I'm standing on to sheet metal and then put a window in front of it. It's up to you. I chose to do this just to have an easier access to it since we do have to hop over the roof every time to get over here. It's more of a backup loot room and we can just trap it, you know? But before we get started on the second loot room, we're gonna put our door down over here before we forget. And um, from the outside, you can see these door frames. I'm not sure if most of you are aware of that. You can see them if things are like upgraded to sheet metal especially. So upgrading it to sheet metal makes it invisible from the outside. And then we're gonna want the lip on this garage door to be pointing inwards. And then we'll cover it up with a wall right here and place another wall right here as we will be dropping down from the top to access our TC just for, you know, maximum compactability. And over here, we will begin building our real unlootable loot room where we are going to keep most of our main loot at. Besides upstairs as well, you could keep some main loot. It's just not as protected. So this would be the ideal place to keep your main loot. Even though it is only one door in, it's protected by sheet metal. And you can also honeycomb it from the outside if you would like and trap the hell out of it. You could put an auto turret right in the front if you got your hands on one of those guarding the door just straight away. Another thing that you could do is upgrade the front of it to high quality along with the half height floor. And that'll just about double the cost to get into here. As well as making sure you have your windows and embrasures as our TC is highly protected and they'll have to go through the windows regardless. Also to get the bottom boxes, they'll have to break a wall. So either way, it sucks for Raiders to have to deal with this. When placing your windows, be sure to put the embrasures on the inside because they will have to break it if they have any hopes of getting anything inside of it. At that point, I would just go through the wall as a raider instead of breaking the window, which is why I recommend upgrading that to high qual. We're gonna throw our doors on our airlock and then over here, we can place a sneaky little flame turret. So if they come through the front and just go straight in here, they're gonna have a terrible time dealing with this flame turret unless they have incendiary rockets. Up on the top floor, we will begin placing our main walls along the inside to protect the TC, along with on the outside to create a path to the TC for raiders to follow if they decide to go through doors. Depending on if you have the ladder blueprint or not, you would want to put the half wall right here on the bottom. If you do not have the ladder blueprint, then you will want to put that half wall on the top. Putting it on the bottom, as you'll see in a little bit, just creates a more difficult path for raiders to follow to access the TC drop-down spot. 
And then right here, if you want to save some materials, I would recommend upgrading this part to stone as if raiders go through that part of the base, they're basically wasting materials and should have gone through the door. Now we're going to come in here and start creating a path to our TC. So we'll start off with putting some half walls over here for extra storage along with just making it kind of an annoyance for raiders to even find the the TC in the first place. You can upgrade this to stone just to save a little bit of metal frags. Again, this is just my preference of how I would upgrade this base. I'm not sure how some of you feel about that, but I mean, this is the strongest way to upgrade the base while keeping it as compact as possible. Also a side note, the way that you jump up on the roof right here may be a little unknown to some people. It's also new to me. You just want to stick to the wall and jump once you get pretty close to the top and you'll make it up there, no problemo. Now I'm going to put down our research table and repair bench over here just so I don't forget later on. This is uh, a nice little area to place them to keep them out of the way if you want to have these out here. If not, you can just put some large boxes in their place, although you can put one underneath the research table along with small boxes under the repair bench to begin with, so might as well just have them out. Next up on our list of things to do is to add some furnaces over here, not only to smelt ore, but also to make it easier for us to access the top of this half height floor that we're using for extra storage and to create a more difficult pathway to our TC. And we are going to put some garage doors in here along with this single door right here as well. So what this door frame does right here is forces raiders to go under it or to break the floor. Either way is going to suck for them because if they go under it, they're going to have to go through more doors or decide whether or not they should be breaking the floor. And, you know, one or the other is not beneficial towards them in the long run. Also over here, if you just shove this box in the far back corner as close to the wall as it gets, you can put it along with these two boxes over here just to add some sneaky storage space. You, this could potentially be a main loot area as long as you don't put a lock on the front box, which will be taking up the entirety of the door frame. Once you move it after getting those two boxes down, you'll be able to just wiggle it in there if you line up right. And then over here, we're just gonna throw another box or two down for some extra space and then begin putting down our door frames. And one thing to consider when putting down these double door frames is uh, whether or not you care if raiders can see them from the outside, because if you upgrade them to stone, it, it is cost effective, but you will be able to see it like specifically right here. And on the corner from the top, you'll be able to see it as well, which I'll point out in a minute in the video right there, you can see it sticking out of the corner of the top but if you upgrade it to sheet metal you are not able to see it from the outside at all which plays a big part in whether or not raiders are going to decide to go through this side of the base or the other side of the base also you want to make sure that garage doors are facing the right way so that the lip does not stick out of the base as with every base you want to hide the fact that you have garage doors you want to put all your weak stuff in the front although we do have a ton of sheet metal which, you know, it goes hand in hand, which is why I'm letting you decide whether or not you choose to do these types of things. But it does play a big part in, in where raiders decide to go uh, inside your base from. Another thing that I did not do to this base that you could potentially do yourself is add honeycomb to the important sides of the base, such as where our unlootable loot room is or on the side that is opposite of the entrance to where you'd be going down into the TC. So where you exit from coming up out of the TC room, you would maybe want to put honeycomb on that wall right in front of you on the outside so that if raiders come through that side, they're going to have to go through more walls to get directly to your TC. But again, that's up to you. It will increase the base cost a lot and potentially might not even affect the raid cost at all. So as you just saw, we put some traps down in here and uh, now we're going to be putting some more furnaces and our workbench in here along with this door frame right here, just so that the workbench will block raiders into a certain line of path with our um, shotgun trap that we placed in the other room so that if they break the doors, they're either going to have to stand really far away or they're going to die to the shotgun trap. 
And again, it's up to you whether or not you care about this stuff showing outside of your base. I would recommend not showing it at all as it will just confuse raiders even more as to where to go in in the space. But if I was a raider, I would probably just go straight through the roof, man. That's what I would do. And then it's going to end up costing around 30 to 50 rockets to get all of the loot anyway. So, you know, when building a base like this, really the only goal in mind is to not make raiders profit. You want, you, you want to make them have as difficult of a, of a time as possible to get your loot. You want them to not profit off of the sulfur that they put into your base to raid it. And in the end, you just want to shit on them while you're offline. For them, offlining you is basically the point of as to why I make these types of bases is so that they're they're not profitable to raiders in the end because of the the cost that it is going to be to raid the base compared to the amount of loot that you have in the base. So we're just gonna throw some more doors down right here and then we're pretty much gonna finish up the base. There's just one more thing that we have to do to complete this, which is put some more furnaces down in here and then finish up our TC room. So like I said earlier, we're going to put a ladder down in here, but if you do not have a ladder, I'll tell you in a second what you, what you can do about that if you missed it earlier. Uh, the thing I want you to know right now is that you do not want to put the embrasure on the inside of your TC room as somebody can break the window and then break the TC and pick up the embrasure, which defeats the purpose. So since we have our TC in this specific position, we can put the embrasure on the outside of the window, making it more difficult for raiders to break it. And right here, the half wall that was directly in front of us would be the one that we would raise up one. So instead of hopping up here, we would hop up directly below this half wall. So you know what I mean? So the, the bottom half of this would be on the top so that you enter from the bottom right here instead of from the top if you don't have a ladder. And then you can use a mailbox to jump up out of there, which should be easy enough to find. I can't tell you how many mailbox blueprints I've found, but we've made it to the point of the video where I tell you that's all I got for you guys today. I'll catch you next time. But first, like the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts are on the video. I changed up the structure a little bit this time around, so I want to know your thoughts specifically about that. Also, if you don't know, I've got a solo only server and a solo duo server, which you can find more information about that in the description and also in my Discord, which the link for my Discord is also in the description. I'll catch you guys next time.